Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, bienvenidos. Today we're going to be making tofu with a guajillo sauce. If you don't want to use uh, tofu, you can use tempeh, you can use seitan, or you can use any mocked meats like uh, the Guardian Scalapini chicken, the Guardian grilled tenders, or you can use the Beyond Meat grillers, or you can use pretty much anything. Uh, what I like about this sauce, it's very versatile. Um, I use it for enchiladas. When I use when I use it for enchiladas, I add um, fresh squeezed orange juice and a little bit of lemon juice. But we're just gonna make a basic sauce. Uh, you can use this basic sauce for um, also chilaquiles. Um, so this is what you're gonna be needing. Uh, chile guajillo, it comes dehydrated. I'll show you how to stem it and be seated. Uh, you're also gonna need um, cinnamon. You're gonna need uh, the, I'm gonna use not chicken bouillon. This is what I'm gonna use. Or you can use a veggie broth or you can use any non-animal based broth you want. You're gonna need garlic, you're gonna need onions, uh, green, uh, black peppercorns, cloves, cumin seeds, uh, fresh oregano, I'm using coconut uh, sugar. You could use uh, white vegan sugar or you can use uh, maple syrup, agave nectar, or uh, coconut syrup, date syrup, whatever you want as a sweetener. You're only gonna need very little. So let's get this started and uh, I'll show you how to de-seed and de-vein the uh, guajillo peppers. I'll be right back. So here we are, I'm gonna show you how to um, clean this because it's uh I already went ahead and cleaned some of it so what you're gonna do is take the pepper remove the stem and then you're gonna get a bunch of seeds just pop it pop it down like that so all the seeds can drain and peel it you're gonna need scissors for this and then a bunch of seeds are gonna start coming out there you are so this pepper is very leathery Take the little um, stems out of the inside, open it up, and then what I do is I just peel it back, then I cut it, because I need it to fit in my pan. <laughs> and that's it. Once you get all that done, what you're gonna do is, I have a pan here, on medium heat, and I'm just gonna pop, pop it in there. You need to roast this. Um, you don't have to add oil. Some people do add oil to it. I, 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 don't, I don't particularly care for it, but anyway. If you want to add oil, you're fine. And you're going to roast this until it gets very fragrant. And it starts changing color. So let me go ahead and uh, roast these. It takes about five minutes and I'll be back, all right? And I'll show you what it looks like once it's roasted. Here we are. A couple minutes have passed. Um, just to show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but anyway. See how it's like a real dark burgundy? Almost like a chocolate color. It almost turns like a reddish burgundy color. Okay. Um, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add from our seasoning rack, we're going to add the cumin seeds, we're going to add the cloves and the peppercorns. We're going to let that just quickly just to infuse some of the flavor. Yeah, it does smoke up a little bit, so you just want to get the flavor, the flavors from the seeds and stuff to the oil so once you see the, the um, you can hear the cumin like popping you're gonna go ahead and add water I'll put all the all the portions inside the uh, in the comments all right now we're gonna let that cook for about 15 minutes 
and then we'll go to the next step which uh, you can go ahead and start um, getting your blender or your Vitamix or whatever you use to blend stuff up and we'll take it to the next step also what I'm going to do at this point for me I'm doing the tofu so what I do is I take my tofu and I cut it in whatever shape I want or any shape you want I'm going to cut it in cubes and then I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes just to get it to firm up a little bit what I do with the tofu is I freeze it overnight then I thaw it out in the morning then I press it and I use the extra firm tofu you're going to need one whole block of that all right see you shortly so here we are um the wahiyo peppers cooked for about 10 minutes max so what we're going to do is take the peppers i let it cool for about five minutes because you don't want this splattering all over the place take your peppers put them in your blender vitamix blend tech whatever you use and i'm going to put a little bit of the broth here You know what? I just put like, the whole broth and everything in there. Call it a day. And then you're gonna take your garlic, your onion. Put all that in there and cover, cover it completely. This is hot. You don't want this splattering all over the place, especially all over your skin. So make sure it's wall covered. Put a towel over it just in case it does splatter, it doesn't get all over you. And uh, blend it up. Strain it very good. Make sure there's no lumps, there's no chunks of uh, peppers or garlic, onions or whatever they're. The seeds also, because don't, don't forget you got black pepper seeds and you have any cumin seeds and you have the cloves. You want to make sure it's everything, you don't get in those chunks. Not your colander. Now you're going to return this back to the heat. Pop back on. And look at this beautiful sauce. Oh my god, it's amazing. Put it back in there. At this point you're gonna add, you're gonna lower your heat. You want it to you want it to a real low simmer. Mmm, I love that sauce. Now you're gonna put your coconut sugar, your oregano, your not bouillon beef, I mean your not bouillon chicken, your not chicken bouillon. Let that come to a real low simmer. Add salt to taste. Uh, at this point you can add more sugar if you want, taste it you know, a couple minutes later. And you want this on low, I'm gonna add a little bit of water also. Because it gets really thick. And a little bit of salt. That's it. Let it simmer for a few minutes before you add your product. Your, your protein. So I'm going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Actually, 5 minutes. And then I'll add my tofu and um, we'll let that simmer for another 10 minutes. And then we'll serve it up. So here we are, the sauce is thickened a little bit, about 5 or 10 minutes, yeah about 5 minutes have passed, 
Um, it's thickening, it's thickening a little bit. And what I'm going to do is add my tofu. At this point, you would add whatever mock meat you want. If you're using Saitan or or the Guardian products or Beyond Meat products. Um, I wouldn't add crumbles to this at this point. But um, anything else, like your mock meats and stuff, yes, the tempeh, the tofu, whatever you have. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to let this only braise for about 5 or 10 minutes. And then you're going to lower your heat to a real low simmer. A real little simmer because you don't want this to scorch. And um, we shall be back and I'll show you how to plate this up. And I'm going to eat mine with tortillas and probably a little bit of uh, curtido, which is like a type of a coleslaw, but it's made with lemon juice. All right. I'm going to let this simmer for a few minutes, five or ten minutes, and we shall be back. So here's what it looks like, guys. You see a nice, thick, creamy guajillo sauce. All right. And uh, look at that beautiness. So uh, let me plate it up so you can see it. All right, guys. So we have. I made some curtido. That's this, which is the cabbage with the lemon and salt. And what you do is squeeze it, massage it, I should say. Then, if you want to add cilantro and tomatoes, you can add it. Some avocados, tofu guajillo. And then I have here some homemade cashew chipotle cheese. And this is what I would do take some tofu, take some curtido. Take some cashew cheese. If you want to use whatever cheese you want, go ahead and use it. And there's Follow Your Heart, Daia, and all those delightful uh, cheeses out there. Or you can put sour cream if you don't want to do the cashew cheese. Um, anyway, the sky's the limit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, here we are. Oh my God. This is so freaking good. Anyway, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Hope you enjoyed it. And dive into some of this deliciousness and try it out. You'll be pleasantly surprised at how good it is. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Take care, everyone.